What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now it's been a minute since I've filmed. We just got back from Bora Bora. I am so sun damaged and sunburned. I've mentioned in a previous video that I have like discoloration on my face and everyone rolled their eyes at me and like, no you don't. Now that I'm sunburned, which is so scary because I'm never in the sun, but when you're in Bora Bora, listen, we swam with stingrays and sharks. We went parasailing. So I was really in the sun a lot and me, Nathan and Manny, um, well Nathan doesn't wear makeup, but me and Manny did not get glam for a full like week and a half so my skin is like give me some makeup now now you saw the tag today I am doing how I did my makeup in high school now the cool thing about me is that I've been wearing makeup since like eighth grade so we can go back a long way and all laugh together and I can't wait to make fun of myself I started wearing makeup in ninth grade to school kind of barely like a little dabble of eyeshadow here I was um, really nervous and scared about it I don't know what gravitated me towards makeup I just loved seeing you know magazines and I loved watching my mom in the morning transform from you know normal girl to glamazon and my mom had this huge makeup train in her bathroom just full of drawers and I just remember um, going in there one day and pulling them all apart and picking out eyeshadows and glitters and she had these little pigments that she had collected from years and years ago and it was just fun to create. I started putting them on my eyes with my fingers. The first color I ever wore was like this burgundy rusty red and I put it all over the lid, all under the eye. It was very heroin chic, I guess, and I just loved it. And I love the fact that I could wipe it off and I guess be somebody else or, you know, it was like almost like playing a character back then. I think the craziest moment for me is when I went full on was in 11th grade. And I remember one day I was looking at like rock magazines and someone had no eyebrows. And I was like, oh my God, you can do so much more with your makeup. Now my real eyebrows, here, we're just gonna go down memory lane. I, I also found a seventh grade picture, you guys. So, hi, there's baby Jeffrey. Seventh grade, look at same fucking nose, girl. Nothing's changed over here. So if you, if I scrunch my face like this, see, this is where my real brows are supposed to be. Girl, that's way too low. Where the fuck am I gonna put my eyeshadow? So brows were way too low for me. I remember one day I found one of my grandfather's like Mach 3 razor blades and I just went, swing, swing. And they were gone, and I was like, oh my god, I get to have so much more room to play with. Now when my grandma saw me, she almost had a stroke right then and there, and she was just like, horrified. She was like, you look like a damn alien. Here's where it gets crazy. I had no idea how to draw on a brow back then. I went full on, like, divine, crazy, black eyeliner. And then I would do these really dark, smoky eyes, and crazy blush like contouring was not a thing back then contouring and highlighting was only for really corrective makeup now obviously it is such a huge trend and everyone does it but 10 years ago people were not highlighting and they were not really contouring unless you're like an a-list celebrity or you're going to a red carpet normal folks we didn't do any of that so I also am a self-taught makeup artist so in high school is when I became to really just become obsessed with being a makeup artist. That was my goal, that's what I wanted to be when I grow up. So I just started practicing a lot on myself at home and then it transitioned to doing a lot of girls makeup for the proms and the school dances and that sort of stuff. So I just got to play on everybody. But of course, yourself is your best canvas to play around with. So. In the beginning, I was very, what we call gothic back then, very dark black lipstick, pink lipstick, dark, dark eyes, crazy brows. So I think this tag is really fun. It's definitely gonna bring me back. Now, a lot of the makeup I used back then was from MAC. I was a big MAC user, and I remember when MAC was the hottest brand ever. They were so edgy, and 10 years ago, that was everything. So I would convince my grandma to take me to the MAC store at the mall. Shout out to South Coast Plaza MAC, if there's anyone that watches, uh, that works there. I used to shop there all the time, um, and I remember when their old location was on the other side of the mall, and now things are changing, everything's just growing and shifting. But um, so I get asked a lot, what the hell did you look like in high school? Now if you Google that, there are some pictures. So I'm gonna show you guys the real pictures. The yearbook picture, which I've seen circulating all over Instagram and Google. Someone from my high school scanned this in, so let's just show the real tea. So I went to Pacifica High School. Now this is my 12th grade yearbook, dug her out of the archives. And you know what I find really funny is when I open up the pages, um, look at my, my, one of my best friends in high school wrote me a crazy letter. Girl, I've been calling myself Jeffree Star since 10th grade, and I also got my name legally changed, uh, 
I think like 2007. So I've been Jeffree Star for a long time. Okay, so you can see this says senior favorites and look who won best hair down here. Yes! Me and this girl Cassie, she had like hair down to her butt. So of course they picked the girl with the long hair. And then my crazy ass, I can't believe everyone actually voted for me. And I won best hair, which was so funny back then because the, th the things that suck about yearbooks is that you shoot all these in like the beginning of the year. So literally a month after this, I dyed my hair all hot pink, cut it off, did a mohawk, and the rest is history. So in this um, yearbook, I have like crazy orange red fans of spikes, and then I have these long black uh, bangs that I dyed black. My real hair color is like that sandy brown, and it's just crazy. It's like this is like going through memory lane. Look at that. Look at baby Jeffrey with those six inch gothic boots. Long jacket, wearing little nylons, and um, that hair, honey, oh my god. So I guess today we are going to just talk about my techniques in high school, what I used, um, and some of the products I had to go back to MAC today and buy them because I didn't even have them anymore. Um, but this is gonna be funny. So if you guys want to see how I used to do my makeup in high school and just learn about all this crazy shit, <laughs> then keep on watching. So there was no primers in high school, that was really not ever a thing, but MAC had the stuff called strobe cream, which I know people still use to this day, which I find amazing. It really does work, so I think that's why. Now this stuff just has kind of like a luminous uh, moment to it. We're just gonna squirt some out. Oh my god, it's crazy how a smell can like take you back so far. It kind of has like a pearlescent feel to it, so when you are rubbing it on, your face kind of gets like this glow. The glow from within that we're all craving now. And I would just rub this all over my entire face and neck. And then I would do my face makeup. Now, I'm gonna say this a lot. Ten years ago, we didn't have which is gonna happen, I think, a lot in this video. So I look back and I wore a mask. If you guys think I wear a lot of makeup now, oh my god. So MAC has these little pots called Studio Finish Concealers. So to use this product, I would take my MAC Studio Fix, which is a very full coverage, and I would open up the powder, and underneath is a sponge. So I would take this sponge, and I would take this concealer, and I would use this as foundation, you guys. So my entire face was completely covered in this concealer. Scrape a lot of it out, and then I would take this sponge. Oh my god. Do you know how crazy this feels now? And I would literally coat my entire face. That was that. Oh my god. No primer. My pores are like, get the fuck out. Out of here! Now, I always took concealer and I put them all over my lids. This was kind of like my primer back then. And this was way before I got laser hair removal, so this full coverage concealer definitely covered stubble. And now MAC has like a bigger version called just the full coverage foundation. And of course, back then, you guys know, I still did my damn neck. I wasn't a trifling hoe back then and I ain't one now. To set this, I did not use any setting powder None of that stuff, but I did use the MAC Studio Fix, so I would take this, kind of like I do nowadays, and I literally would cover my entire face and neck with this over the concealer. And I mentioned this brush, I think, once before, but I have an old brush from MAC that I used to use in high school. I used to literally use this exact same one. They discontinued this a long time ago. Look at the bris the bristles are like falling apart, you guys. This is the 1H6 MAC brush. I think they might have one of these on eBay. And then I'd take this, you guys, and I would brush it right over and I would pack it and literally this lasted all day. That is all I did for face makeup. There was no setting spray, there was no under eye highlight. That was like a few years later. After I did my face makeup, I would do eyebrows. Now here's where it gets scary, is I would literally use a MAC Smolder Eye Pencil, which I use this a lot in previous tutorials for like doing under eye, like smoky and like smudging out. So why did I use this for brows? I have no idea, you guys, but I'm scared. I mean, this, this whole video is kind of about, you know, flashbacks and making fun of ourselves, so let's dive in. Oh my god, I went high up there. Girl, girl, girl! All right, let's go for it, guys. I did them so thin, I could, like, kill a small village. I would go really far, and then I'd kind of cut it, like, yes. I'm trying to recreate this picture, you guys, and this shit is scary. And then I would take it all the way to the hairline. So literally, that was my brow. And I thought I was the shit, you guys. I thought, yeah, no one, no one does makeup better than me back then. 
12th grade, you better work. And just like back then, you guys, these were always uneven. Nowadays, they may look like twins a lot of the time. They're still sisters, but back then, this was it, you guys. Fucking... They had little commas back then. I can't even believe this is real. Anastasia, please don't kill me. Moving on, you guys, for eyeshadow. You ready for this? Oh my god. I used four eyeshadows from MAC day and night. This was my thing, and I actually rebought all the colors today. And I'm like, damn, 10 years later, MAC, you still got all the damn colors. So, I would take this color, Vellum, all my old MAC uh, lovers will know that shade. They don't make it anymore, sadly, it was really pretty. But um, one that is very similar is called Gesso. It's like a matte white shade. Now, I would put this from brow to lid. There was no primers back then. There was none of that shit. So, I use my little MAC 252, which I still use to this day. And uh, that's it. I would take this and go from lid to brow. Everyone watching, I'm scared. Also, not to be a shady hoe, but are these as pigmented as they used to be? Because this don't look as white as I remember. Now obviously 10 years ago, there could have been different ingredients. I don't know what the hell, but this eyeshadow does not seem as pigmented as it used to be. All right guys, I am blending to filth. Ooh, look at that, yes, yes. Yes. All right, that base color is down. I'm slaying everybody. <laughs> <gasps> Kidding. Okay, now let's move on. Now, another MAC eyeshadow. This was called Pink Freeze. I would take this, and before I even knew that highlighting was going to become a worldwide phenomenon, I was highlighting you guys all the way back then. And I would use my MAC 168 brush, and I would literally just take it, and if you look back at all my old pictures, I always had this crazy shine here, and people would be like, you look really plastic, and it was this guy. And I would take this, and I would go all the way up to my brow, literally, and I'd come down, and contouring was not a thing, bitch, no one in high school contoured. Now infants are contouring and it's scary. There was no YouTube back then, there was no tutorials, there was nothing but a few Kevin Aquan books and a dream, honey. Oh my god, this is like a flashback memory lane. I would take this all the way to where my eye, and I would take it all the way down, like I went crazy. It's so funny compared to today's highlighting powders and highlighters, this does not look as blinding as it used to. <laughs> All right, so that was how I used this shadow. It was kind of like this huge highlight. And then even before I did eyes, you guys want to really know what I did? Oh my God, kill me now. I used a little MAC, a 129, yes! Okay, 129. I would use this blush and, you know, remember contouring? There was no contour. I would take this MAC Dolly Mix blush and I would take it and I would take it and take it and take it. And then, this is what I did, ready? This blush was my contour, you guys. Like, I would take the blush from the apples of my cheeks all the way back, like, what's up, Stephen King's it? What the fuck's your tea, girl? And I would take it and I would bring it all the way up, girl. Mm-hmm. And I would really go in like, we used to do things really heavy in Orange County. That's how I did it. So that blush kind of merged in with my highlight, if you will, and that's what we did. All right, blush is complete, um, cheeks are done. Now, listen, the eyes. Here's where it gets crazy, you guys. Let's dive into the eyes. I would use two shades only, very gothic, very smoky, and it is the Matte Cosmetics Print Eyeshadow. This is like a matte gray. And then the famous Carbon Black Eyeshadow from MAC. This used to be the blackest eyeshadow on the market. These two were like, Girl, I would hit pan every hour. So what would I do? Same pencil that I used for my brows. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm admitting this. I would take it and I would like put it on my entire lid. So it was almost like my base. And I would take it and just drag it across my lash line. And I would create like a, there we go. So I'd just do like a that type of moment. And then I would start to drag it up. And if it didn't show up how I want it to, I'd take a lighter to it or, I would just smear the black all over. Now obviously this is gonna look really ugly before it starts to look kind of cute, which this whole look's not kind of cute, but you guys get it. And that was it. And then I would go over this liner and start to blend up. And then I would take a little blending brush and I would dip it into the actual black shadow. I'm just gonna hold up these two right here real quick, like barely there. 
And then I would dip into print, this matte gray, and this would be my best friend for just creating that little gradient. So I would go in with the brush, and I would just start to buffer up. And I would do it really dramatic. Looking back, I definitely went ham, and that's how I blended and, uh, now, I definitely would smoke out, oh well, you know, my version of smoked out back then. Um, the, the under eye was a very, very raccoon back then. So I would take the same smolder eye pencil, bam, and I would just drag it all the way down my waterline, which is actually what I still do to this day. And then I just smudge it out, which this liner is perfect for that. Definitely not good for brows, but hey, back then, you did what you could. And then I would dip into the same gray and black. Come on, carbon. And I didn't think I did the gray much back then, but I definitely dipped into the black. And uh, I went in and just smeared uh, the bottom across until I looked like a raccoon. All right, we are smoked out. Last but not least, I would go back in with a little packer brush, dip it into that gray, and then I would run it along the edges because I felt like it really made it airbrushed and seamless back then. All right, now for mascara. I don't even remember what sort of mascara I used back then. I sat there and I'm like grasping in my memory and I really do not remember. So I think for mascara, um, I definitely used some sort of drugstore one because I was definitely uh, stealing makeup from uh, Rite Aid way back then when I had no money. Um, I would just steal foundation and mascara and eye pencils all the time, which I do not recommend doing anymore. Um, and stealing is horrible, but hey, when you're a broke bitch that wants to look good, I did what I had to do. So I'm just gonna apply some black mascara to these lashes. Now the horrible thing about high school is I never wore falsies, which when you look back, it makes the makeup look even crazier. And the cool thing about this look is that when you are doing your mascara and if you bump, the wand anywhere, it don't matter because your eyes are fucking black. So, bam. And same for under. Ooh. We're almost done with this look, shockingly enough. I wish every tutorial was this easy. All right, so to finalize this look, there was no lashes, there was no extra highlight, there was no contour, there was not even a finishing spray, which is fucking horrible. So all there was to do was to put on lipstick. Now, I loved black lipstick, red, or pink. That was all. Now, when I first started 12th grade, I was a little hesitant to wear full, full-on makeup, so I would do like a gloss. Then a few months later, I got over it. And I discovered Pink Nouveau Lipstick from MAC. My god, I must have went through like 20 tubes of this. I wore it morning, lunch, and dinner. And, uh, let's put it on. Mm-hmm. There's that Jeffree Classic Pink. Oh my god, you better work overdraw. All right, you guys, so after I would do my lipstick, I was pretty much done. Now, of course, the high school football team from my 12th grade year could not be here to finalize the, you know, setting spray with their cum, but, you know, we just gotta do what we gotta do. So besides that, this look is completely done. I'm ready to slay the volleyball court. All right, guys, this is the final look of how I used to do my makeup in high school. I'm looking in the mirror like, you know what, bitch? It ain't that bad. Now, the brows are really extreme for me. Of course, throughout the years, I have changed them from pink to purple to green to taupe, and I've definitely lowered them, thickened them up, done better arches, but hey, we all gotta start from somewhere. So, if you were someone in high school that looked crazy or someone that never wore makeup and now you love it, I think that's awesome. I think change is, of course, very necessary. We are all evolving as makeup artists and as people. So, I mean, this is like a trip down memory lane. I'm looking in the viewfinder like, hmm. Okay, hey girl. I might have to revisit this just blush and no contour look. I mean, it is a, it is really severe, but hey, that's how I wore it. But um, <laughs> I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this. I had such a good time doing this. Definitely fun to look through all these old pictures and have a laugh and just appreciate where we came from because the glow up is real. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Are you scared? Just subscribe, honey. I swear to God, it's not gonna hurt. All right, guys, I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Bye.